Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. It is our third installment of our Winter Wonder Swing Guide. And here we are talking about moves that we just think are fun, are awesome, are a little different. Uh, and we're giving them to you as a gift, breaking them down lead follow for you to try out. Um, they might be a little bit more basic or advanced. That's not really the point. The point is to make these wonderful moves. So we have our Winter Wonder Whip. Uh, really cool variation on a same side whip. We're going to show it to you now and break it down lead follow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so on and so forth. Et cetera. <laughs> so breaking this down for our leaders, the start of this move feels very similar to an underarm turn from closed position. So if you've never led an underarm turn from closed position, practice this first. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. The main difference with leaders there is I need to get out of the way a lot sooner. So that's the entrance, except I'm looping this hand over my follower's head and catching the shoulder here. Now this is where it gets a little bit more advanced leaders. I'm not necessarily doing strict basic West Coast Swing timing here. However, I still need to be on time. And this is where some of our more complicated patterns can get tricky leaders because lots of times I feel like we start to rely on our feet to keep us on time, and then once we take the feet out, we lose our sense of timing. So, in this pattern, I'm not necessarily doing a lot of footwork here in this middle part. I'm catching, redirecting, catching with the other hand, and my feet didn't really move. My weight changed, but my feet themselves didn't move. Then we do this duck under, and then our follower finishes this out, and I'm still being patient and waiting before I settle at the end of the pattern. So followers, that's what I really love about this Winter Wonder Whip is the opportunity to almost slow down time and focus on our pulse beats here. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, duck under, four, eight. And then what I like to do, followers, is I like to walk this out like I would a tuck. So instead of having a tuck dance here very flat, I like to walk out my tucks here to the angle and a round this feels the same. So if we get into that movement again, one, two, like a basket whip, three and, but stretching out, four, five and six, seven and around for eight. And this is led by you follows with the leader being attentive to you. And I'm at that angle, walk around. So we've got this really nice unconventional handheld to play around with afterwards. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store link in the description. See you for the demo soon.